that the translation is using four terms for what is one root with two prepositions added to it. And those distinctions, I, I think, uh, arguably create levels. So that's what um, this text that I gave you is to show you some alternative ways of seeing those, that terminology. And sometimes I've given you a translation, sometimes I've just taken the lobe and, and um, given, uh, given some alternative uh, translations of a particular term. So do you see it says, in, where is it says, oh, okay, sorry. I'm trying to be a little clearer and slower this time from my usual speedy Gonzalez self. Good. Um, I like it. If you look at the top, it says, you, you get two prepositions here, epi and para. And if you look where it says C3, uh, actually, uh, level one. Do you see where it says level, level one? And it says always call, and I've scratched out a pawn, and it says God. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is that term in the Greek, Greek is what you see, kalousin, right? And it means really to call. Not to call upon, to call to summon, right? To summon God, hmm, right? If I could whistle like here, I'd go, you know. <laughs> it means to summon. So, and that becomes significant. So, um, you're going to get then two other terms. One will be epi with this same verb, and the other will be para. Again, with the same verb in a different form different tense, different mood, right? The grammar will be different. So and we'll, so you can see epi, I gave you a short list of the kinds of meaning it has, and para likewise, right? So, um, but there are, I'm gonna just start from the top and talk about some of the distinctions, because they are pretty, it's pretty beautiful, the Greek. It says here, nay, as to that, Socrates, all men who possess even a share of good sense. Well, you can see that it says those who possess even a small share. It's really those who participate. Very important word for Platonists, right? You participate ideas. And here you are participating sophrosune, which puts sophrosune, which contains the root word of phronesis, it puts that on the level of an idea that can be participated. Mm. Right? You participate the good, you participate beauty, right? And here, you participate sophrosune. So... Barbara? The, Barbara, can I ask a question at this point? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, all men who possess even a small share of good sense, and you say that has <laughs> a meaning of participating. Right, you see where I... Yeah, I can see that. Now looking at the text itself, and it yeah. says meteko. Do you see meteko? Uh, right. It says kata braku so frusune is Yeah. I was wondering if it's like um, because we have to replace then the words uh, possess even a small share of somehow with participate. Well, that's what I did on the side where there's a little arrow coming down. Let me see. It's a little. It's not. That my idea of what the handout was going to do uh, I see those changed. Who <laughs> I see. You see, it says those who participate even a little of soccer. So we wouldn't even have all men. We just those starting with those. Right. Oh, okay. That's what. It's, thank you. Yes. Okay. So um, it well. Right. It doesn't say all men. Okay. So. Um, so you can see I've noted here that Sophrosune is translated, you could translate it sound friend or sound minded or cool headed often, but friend is the word for diaphragm and there's an argument that's been made that it, it has to do with key. Is that the right pronunciation? Mm -hmm. yes. You know, for martial arts. And so sound friend means the capacity to work from that state of mind, from that center power, if I can call it that not having had any experience myself. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so, what would you call it? Yeah, I, I would say, uh, an, I don't know, an energy? I don't, I an don't energy? know. I don't know what to say. An energy? 
Chiriki. Are you a martial artist too? So cool. Mm. Assistant martial. <laughs> For the teens. <laughs> All right. Harass Mark too. <laughs> okay, so so do you see? Um, I'm again suggesting that at least uh, for the moment you suggest that you translate always call. And the word God is very interesting because often it's a word for Zeus when it's not spe specified. Although in this dialogue um, there would be, well, not at this point, but you can see the word here is Theon, which translates God or a God. But it's also equivalent in text to theon, which is divine. So you could argue that it means to call upon the divine, to call the divine, the presence of the divine. So, um, and at the outset, right, they, they use the term outset. This is a word very significant in um, the Republic because the word is horme, which means it's like a springboard or... Um, a jumping up to. And that's the term used for the way you move into the dialectic. You have to spring up to the level of being itself, right, and beyond. So I noted here, used in the Republic for the impulse or leap to the source of all on the level of being that begins the dialectic process. Yes. Okay. Well, since we're talking about the, how the universe began, Right. You mean in the Republic? No. In the Republic. Ah, okay. That's part of what we're talking about. Okay. And Came into being. Yeah. yeah. If I recollect right, Zeus is a deity of those that made it happen in the material world. Yes. So, at least your conjecture about Theon and they're talking about the creation of the universe would be seem to be correct. Because that I was, conjecture your your you mean as you were talking about associated with Zeus. No I wasn't. I was saying rather than the word that's associated with Zeus, it's another word. Mm -hmm. Zeus is, is Zeu and Dios. And here this is Theon. I'm I'm sorry, I may not have been clear. I meant to say this is not the word Zeus. Okay. Okay. Or associated with him. I mean, except in so far as he is a god. Well, oh, I understand. That. Okay. All right. So um, uh, then you can see it says we we therefore who are proposing to deliver a discourse concerning the universe. Well, and I it's we who are proposing pretty, but you can see here this word is simply to make poiestai. To make a discourse is a logos. We've talked about the importance. In fact, this is the plural, right? About the all, which is the Greek word for universe or cosmos. Although they have another term, cosmos, as well. And you can see, so we're going to deliver a discourse or a logos concerning the all, how it has come into being or even is... Uncreated is the lexicon term for this agenes. They're not exact opposites, because one is a verb, how it has come into being, or um, is agenos, right, without, and they give without birth or without descent, right? So, and they also give uncreated. I have a problem with translating that uncreated, because genos doesn't mean creation. So I'd probably rather see it say something like um, how it came into being or is or, or doesn't. I mean, I'd rather translate it as an exact opposite. But you can take, because right now that was the last thing I took into my mind's eye and I, I don't have a clear answer. If someone has an idea. Well, does genos mean seed? No. Oh. It means uh, race or descent, line of descent. Yeah. Can it Rats. be? Can it be whether it is generated or without generation? Generated without generation. Mm. Is that Thomas? Mm. Or whether it has come into being or is without generation. 
I might like that better. Because they're not, they're not parallel tones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I like that though. Thank you for that. Um, so you can see must, and the, it should really say we must pray invoking gods and goddesses. Now look at this is the second term, right? First you call the god, then you must invoke, and that's epical menus, which is a participle. And here, the epi in the lexicon means to call on, right? But also, in the middle, as it is here, it means to call to oneself, right? Which is an interesting terminology, right? Because it's not, it can mean to call to aid, to call someone to aid you. Or just to summon before you, right? So you just bring the gods into your presence, right? to you, into your presence before you. Because if you look at this passage, you will not see aid. You will not see the gods functioning to aid here. So, and the implication of using aid, like to say they're helping you, would mean that you are incapable to some degree. And if you watch the way this paragraph ends, I think you'll agree with my reasoning. So, are we okay so far? Okay, now the word pray can also mean, you can see at the bottom, el kestai, it can mean to uh, pray, to pay one's vows, or to vow, right? So part of me argues that vow might be a better word than pray, because of what follows, right? And this, this line is actually translated continuing on the following page. Or so you must vow calling or summoning the gods to us, that all we say is according to divine mind. Now they translated that, that everything would be approved by them. Now the words in the Greek are katanous, katanun, right? So according to mind and for them, according to what is mind for them. Well, that seems to me that's divine mind. Right? So we're so Timaeus is going to speak in such a way, he's vowing to speak in such a way that his words will be according to divine mind, will be on that level, on that standard. So and and um, to be fair, in one way of speaking, Katanun is a way they translate often um, uh, to please. But in this text, where, where noose plays such an important role, it seems absurd not to translate it um, as, as mind. Okay, so, um, then you see, and, and then it says, especially, according to divine mind especially, most especially, and according to our mind. That follows by parallel structure, right? So we have to, so which is, there's a beautiful, Right? Harmony in those two terms, right? Between it has to be according to divine mind, but according to our mind. So in other words, we our news can be the same or in a, <coughs> or can be brought into a what would you call it? Correspondence with? <coughs> Concord. Harmony? Concord? Concord. Concord. Okay, so it says, uh, grant then that we have invoked the gods, and this is the third term. Right? And it's interesting, I found another meaning, which is, grant then that we have called the gods as witnesses, which if you take the idea of vow, then calling the gods as witnesses is a, is a pretty cool way of seeing them. Right? Um, or it can mean, uh, some, it, again, it can just mean to summon. But when I'm translating, I try, if I see three terms that are similar, I try to look for the differences. Because I figure there's got to be mind behind distinctions. And so that's, that, that's the way I argue to myself. So grant them that we have called, them as, called the gods as witnesses in this way. We must also, now see, this, this is the same term, parakleteon, as a verbal adjective which gives that sense of must. Uh, we must also call upon ourselves, <laughs> right? So, right? So we also are going to witness that this takes place if you take it that way. Right? Is it call upon or summon? Um, well, I actually want to say call as witness for that term. Right? Yeah. Ourselves? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we have to pay attention to our... It's similar to the idea that in the, in the Republic where Socrates gives a 
similar, not the same. A logos and says, you have to be careful that the logos I give you is true coin and not false coin. I think he's saying that we, Timaeus, Critias, Socrates, also have to be witness to the level of the logos and the purity of the logos. So, <clears throat> so then it says, we must also call upon ourselves as witnesses that you may most easily learn, that's manthana, which really means to learn by inquiry or to learn maybe in a questioning spirit. <coughs> And I most clearly, which appears to me to just be uh, malista, again, most especially. Now, expound, it means to display, to show, to give proof. Right? So expound is kind of weak in some ways. To declare oneself might be to, to expound. My views, this I found to be really a cheat, because this is dianoeo, which is the word for dianoia which is the third of the three classes in the divided line, right? It's like the, the level of mind. It's the first of the two yeah. highest divisions of the level of mind. And it's commonly translated, uh, dianoia is commonly translated understanding. So it's not just my views, it's my understanding, <coughs> right, regarding the subject before us. And that's the way, that the, that's the passage that I did for tonight, or that I actually did for myself a while ago. Yeah? I'm not familiar with what you mean by level. Um, well, the divided line in the, in the end of Book 6 of the Republic, they, they talk about the realm of the eyes, the uh, sight, and opinion, and they, they make a distinction. That's a very classic distinction in the divided line. Picture thinking is the lowest, belief is the second, understanding is the third, and knowing or reasoning. There's two different names for the highest. Moves from the level of the realm of perception to the level of realm of mind only. Does that work? Yeah, is that what you meant when you said... Oh, when I said levels? Level one. Ah. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, no. When I, when I was saying level one, I, I actually meant that... Um, and I, it, that, that uh, on the first use of the term colosine, that's just summoning. So it's not... Uh, and it, the, the meaning of it gets more profound as mm. you move to the second and third meaning. Oh. And especially... Um, Like, do you see, um, so the first, like, if you take the first as calling God, right, calling the divine, and um, if you take the second as, um, <clears throat> they're going to deliver this logos about the cosmos, um, that, that we vow invoking gods and goddesses, right, and that it looks like a kind of unity with them, calling them to yourself, right, calling them to, summoning them before you. So is that different than just calling them? Does he? Oh, not for you. Okay. Okay. Well, <clears throat> to my mind, call to call, right, is is one action. But to summon before you is to have to, to is to have the presence of the divine. Um, what? You are, you are present to the to the divinity to divine to the realm of the divine. That, so that would, uh, that's what I'm calling two level two. <laughs> And the last one, where the gods are witnessing the vow that they will be in accord with divine mind, that would be level three. And that was the way I was assuming that was. So, it's not the same kind uh, Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. So you're saying that the before you is one level lower than to have them witness? Or? Right, because what they're witnessing is... I'll have to... So they're summoning the God, you're vowing summoning the gods that all we say is according to divine mind. And the last is that we have called the gods as witnesses. Giving a role to the gods. Maybe what it's maybe what's happening more than levels is just more specificity in the function of the gods. But definitely between the first and the second, between calling and calling summoning to be present, I see a difference there. Um. When you talk, you, you spoke of the root of Sofrasuna, so yeah. that we could add that notion of diaphragm to our idea of uh -huh. Sofrasuna. Uh -huh. But could you kind of give the basic idea of Sofrasuna from all of the sort of all the dialogues, just kind of a basic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, um, <coughs> 
<laughs> well, okay, we're going to Not from all, but definitely not from all the dialogues, but I once did a study of, um, well, do you know in the Republic? I think the Republic has the best definition of it. In the end of book four, there's a definition definition of how it functions with justice and the other virtues. But where is the definition of... Safsune itself is defined in the sequence of virtues, right? As a, a, and that is a fascinating image. If you want to talk about something that... Um, the, Im the image, the, the root metaphor beh behind Safrasune in the Republic is this is, is the word harmozo, right? Which a lot of, and they, do, they describe it as a um, uh, becomes harmony. This term becomes harmonia. Ar um, but the root ver verb is harmozo, which means to join. Specifically, it means to join the long um, ship parts. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, so what I really like about it is that image of joining the um, ribs and giving mm -hmm. the strength. If you if you set this up on its edge, it's very spinal, you mm -hmm. know. And um, because you know, Harmozo, the Safrasuni, they talk about um, binding the highest, the middle, and the lowest, right? And and causing them there to be a harmony within the soul, right? Mm. So. Of the, of the high, they say the highest, the middle, and the low, whether it be in numbers, whether it be in strength, I think, whether it be in wisdom. And if you look at the three parts of the soul, the, the wisdom is the smallest in numbers, right? But it's the highest with respect to wisdom. The thumoides, right, the high-spirited, is the strongest. But it isn't the most in terms of number. That's epithemia, desires, right? Which are, are the most in numbers, but not the most in strength. And so um, they talk a lot about the binding of these three together. Um, so the thing about Safrasune is I, I really don't think you can understand it purely with that by itself. I think you have to see that unity in the end of book four, although the passage... And then Regina said, uh, when you first brought it up, uh, Joriki. Joriki. And is there is there a connection? I don't know. Gina, Gina might. Back in, with Safar Sunni? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it was likened to something maybe in martial arts, or and I was thinking of Chi. You mentioned the idea of Chi. And then, oh, and then that's how it was. To Joriki. I should have asked Gina. She's a martial artist. You were. Well, we do not allow you to forget so soon. Mark what color was your belt in that Nike? Was it Nike? White. <laughs> Mark <laughs> is black. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, with oh, Mark was black, so you're going to pass it to him. Yep. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're chicken, you can... Bail out, bail out. How many you years did you spend doing it? Less than him. <laughs> <laughs> Could you talk about that Mende phrase? Oh, yeah. I, you can see I mostly left them... Um, <coughs> we say is according t to divine... Oh, no. Um, sorry about that. Do you see on the second page, too, Chris, <coughs> talking about what you see circled, the men, day, men, day part? See that? Mm -hmm. Men and day are used in Greek. It's really interesting. They're often translated on the one hand, on the other hand. And but, So what they do is they said in... Um, they set two ideas uh, in, a, in a kind of opposition to one another. So I didn't, people sometimes say, uh, like I said, on the one hand, on the other hand, um, because there's always, they're a contrasting term. But I don't think they're even, they're even uh, translated in this, um, in this translation at no, all. No, they didn't. So I, and I didn't translate them. Because I was kind of rushed, I got the idea of, or Pierre suggested that I might do this and it might be beneficial to present this at this time tonight. So I did the best I could to finish the, the uh, research area, but I didn't trans because I couldn't see a way to translate those, I just put them in. So that's where they're positioned, Pierre, more than translated. That's just where they're positioned. So it's like, um, that all we say is, on the one hand, according to divine mind especially, and on the other, according to Arnus. That's a nice contrast. Nice contrast. Mm -hmm. 
and the next one. Oh, that's two. Two. I should have. That is a nice contrast. Oh, yeah. I could have just put on the one hand, on the other. Yeah. And yeah. the next one Turn is that. Yeah. And the next one is that same kind of contrast. What do you see? Uh, we must all, and that we have invoked the gods, and on the other hand, <coughs> that we must also invoke oh, ourselves. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So there stay, 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 stay. Um, isn't there a mistake? Isn't there a mistake in this whole thing? There is. Yes. Um, <coughs> yeah, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, I was just. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this word is a curious word. Prayer, yes, I agree. Um, invoking God, is that a prayer? Uh, what's this? Yeah, yeah prayer. Is okay, forget that. Okay. Uh, we need a volunteer. Brad, when was the last time you volunteered? Well, then, you're got, <laughs> then you've got a lot of experience. Right? Okay, would you do it for us so we can see what you'd be doing, uh, what you expect to gain by doing it? Well, Barbara mentioned. No, no, not saying. this word, invoking the gods. Oh, mm. uh. Like, what are they getting if that's what they're doing? Why would anyone who is, et cetera, in terms of this dialogue, right, anyone who's going to embark on such a speech will invoke the What are they doing with invoking? What do they expect to gain? Is it is it a is it a plea? No. Is it offering a sacrifice? Is it a hope? Is it a wish? Is it a demand? What what, what is it they're doing? Pray. Who's ever who's ever going to be doing this action? Well, maybe they're conning. You know, like you know, trying to trick the gods into giving them some stuff. Well, because, <laughs> look, I know how to solve it. Okay, Brad, would you do it for us? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I think, well, Barbara mentioned, right, the presence of the divine, summoning the presence down, and why would they be doing that? Yeah. Well, I like summoning, too. So, because it says it's already over with this phrase, <laughs> grant them that we have invoked the gods. Already it's already done. That's all it took. What does it take in this system to invoke the gods if it's already done there? And what are they getting? What are they calling on? And for what? And we do not agree we need a volunteer for this. We need a volunteer. He's busy. Look at him. He's doing it now. <laughs> Okay, look here. If you're going to summon gods, male or female, for what? <laughs> a meeting of to the do minds. what? A meeting of the minds. <laughs> to connect with the news. Well, wait a minute. Okay. Then it has nothing of this. No. no. That's a supplication. Right? So is it this? No. No, it's not this. Well, what is it? Invitation? No. But it was more along the harmonia. Man is, in, man is inviting the gods to a banquet of the Logos. That would be interesting. Yes. What? Yes. Or at least they're bringing, it might even be as a measure or a standard, because they bring, because they have divine mind, man is going to enter into divine mind. Almost, so like on, the the hand, on the one hand, Mende. Yeah. Oh, it could be a competition. Could be, well, well, some kind of some kind of comparison or would be possible. I don't know. I don't know. See, I wasn't happy. You've got a couple of people here, and they're going to use that curious thing. Noose, right? Yes. Right. That special thing we call the intellect. Mm. Right? Capable of seeing into the nature of reality. Right? So on the one hand, according to, and over here are gods, mm -hmm. 
male and female. Uh -huh. And by definition, they have. Huh? Uh -huh. Ah. Ah. So calling on the gods, we say, in a, on the one hand, on the other hand, for what? Meeting of the minds. See, one of the ways in which Barber translated this is in that, uh, <coughs> that paracaluto. Yes. Uh, call to, aid, send for, summon, call as a witness. Mm -hmm. If you put call as a witness, what are you asking them to do? Be the model, essentially, the, the paradigm for that noose. To make sure that I mean, it would be normal, isn't it, when you're going down the street and something is happening, you call on God to just to be a witness. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you're doing, saying things according no, to divine mind. No, like, what, what would a God be doing if he were to do it? <laughs> Are you asking for help? No. no. You're not asking for help. Uh -uh. <clears throat> A witness would mean that... You're asking them to participate. Pardon me? You're asking them to participate. Ask them to participate in some way, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> so even the word witness isn't strong enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because as Barbara was using the term participate, yeah. there's some kind in this... In the uh, scene. Because, you know... Um, Well, would the gods smile at this discourse? If the discourse is about the provenance of the gods? I think so. Yeah, I think sure. But, uh, but see, look at the other side of this. All right? We must also invoke ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Two sides of it, right? Yes. It's another mandate. Yeah, and it's the same term as the same it's the same exact uh, root verb verb and and, and preposition yeah. in both cases. And, oh, and there's another one. Yes, them and us. Yeah. Same yeah. same idea. So then he's asking the people around him. Yes. Right? To to witness as well. Yeah. yeah. And to enter into it, uh -huh. to mm -hmm. be present for it, to what you And what do you, what do they, what are these guys, what are they there for? What? Yeah, the, uh, I think you used Tianoia. Tianoia, yeah. That's what they're there for. Hmm. So these guys are going to open up the Tianoia of these or understanding. Right? Mm -hmm. Ah! So you can most easily learn. Mm -hmm. And I most clearly uh, declare, show, mm -hmm. uh, my... Uh, mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So while he's got this, let's just take one of them out of there. Right? Let it be him. Right? In doing this, he's going to show my understanding. That's right. So he's operating on two levels, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's very interesting. Ha. Hmm. Ah. Now, regarding the subject before us, which is the providence of the gods. Providence of God. Mm -hmm. Not plural. It says... One, two, three. Please. I thought your hand was up. Yeah. You're up. Oh, yeah, okay. the, the issue for me is that the understanding of the person has to be mm -hmm. limited. In my understanding, it's not the God's understanding right. because it's broader. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that it is just his understanding mm -hmm. to the best of his limit of the Dinoia. But he's got both. But he's got, yeah, he's got, um, no, he's no, got, but I'm just saying. Got, you're quite right. There is, a, there is an interpreter here. That's right. That's right. Because in the diagram, you have a large, the That's dots true. are like this, and he's, you know, maybe got this much. 
you know, of what the gods understand. Well, his, ex his, 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 what he expounds will be a more limited part. That doesn't mean he participates any of the less of divine. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not okay. saying there's any untruth here. No, no. That, uh, well, That's I was cool. just saying, as a Venn diagram, if you have divine mind, right, you, you might say that he's, his, his explication or his expounding, because it's going through the medium of understanding, is more limited. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean he's not in the divine mind. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's okay. not the question. Okay. That's not the question. I just wanted to, to clarify okay. in my mind, <coughs> this isn't a God speaking directly to these people. This is a person speaking to the best of his understanding. That's right. That's why we need one more word. Now that's where we're going. Logos. Logos. Uh, <clears throat> but look, you know, uh, I love the way the guy is, is uh, offering this, that he's going to do it in such a way that uh, you may most easily learn. Mm -hmm. And I may most clearly expound. Mm -hmm. So he's promising, hey, I'll be doing it so straight that you dudes will understand. Well, that's a nice way to present it. Mm -hmm. right. And um, so, um, um, could you just go um, to the promise he's making at C5? Right. Watch now. The key word we need. Here it is. <clears throat> we are proposing to deliver the logos concerning the all. Is it purposing? Or? Is it purposing? Right. Oh, proposing. Or it's not proposing. It's purposing. Purposing. I didn't hear the point she was making. She's saying it's purposing, which is that thought that that's how you pronounced it. I thought that was how he was pronouncing it. I think I said proposing. So what is he proposing to deliver? Oh, purposing, intending. Yeah, yeah. purposing. Excuse me. Purposing. 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 A logo concerning the all or concerning the universe. Mm -hmm. So what's he promising? A logos. Mm-hmm. About the all, concerning yeah. the all. Yeah. How what? it was. Yeah, it's, it's plural. Yeah. I mentioned that one. We were That's different than the cosmos. <laughs> right, we must include the principles that generate every responsible for the entire thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I skipped over it, but it is plural, Pierre. I mean, I mentioned it, but I didn't mention it much. This is a plural form. This should, I mean, I didn't want to put yes. the logos is, but it's really plural. Go ahead. So, Good. Okay, Use just it. to tell you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> That's plural in Greek, for those of you who know. <laughs> 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 Oh, looks like, do we, but I don't know if he's finished what he's doing. <coughs> um, it's the locuses or the, that it's we the are plural. speaking? It's the locuses. So well, we are speaking, but it's locuses, it's plural. <coughs> How does it become plural? It is plural. It is plural in the Greek. It's two slogos. We're going to make two slogos. So that means... Logos, plural. That there are many words or... How, is, how would that translate? I translate it logos plurals. I translate it more than one logos. Discourses. Does that work? Yeah. I mean, you follow that? Logos, you can have two logos, and they say logoi, right? But it just doesn't work in English right now. Delivering logos. Logos. Delivering logos. I'm going to work. Yeah, finish it. Uh, we're finished. Yeah. So, Booyah had a question. I don't know what we should take. 
in what in order, because I don't think you were finished with your point. I wanted to hear it before we <laughs> moved on. First, I'm second. No, I'm done, I'm done. But look, yeah. Nabuya had a question Please. of some sort. Um, <clears throat> that that Mende mm -hmm. that you were talking about, what is that, C1, 2, 3, 4? First or the second? Or both. Uh, the one that Ananke says, that I say, that is necessary. Um, I propose a slightly different reading. To take the mende, the, it's, it's necessary to pray to them, the gods, on the one hand, and on the other hand, to speak. Hmm. And so the whole translation would be, it's necessary <coughs> that... Um, we, summoning to ourselves the gods and goddesses, <coughs> pray for all things according to Nous, to them, the gods, especially. And on the other hand, in <coughs> following the same way, Hippomenos, to speak to us. Taking the Haman as the... Yeah, I got, I got how you translate it. How do you take... Um, all things according to news? How do you take all according to news? What does that mean? Well, <coughs> you're praying for all. You're praying all for all? What yeah, does that mean? For all things. Well, it's... <coughs> uh, I mean, like, do you want everything to be copacetic in the vernacular? What's copacetic? Well, how, explain. I just, I'm not following your meaning. Uh, well, well, I understand your words. I'm not following your meaning. What they all refers to, uh, uh, um, that's an interesting question. But <coughs> I was just looking in the dictionary that Eukesla uh, takes an accusative object and then a data to whom you're praying to, or for. Yeah, to whom you're praying to. I wasn't sure how you take the all. The all Do you want to write it up on the blackboard? Because yeah. I, for sure. one, don't, I don't have a pencil here, and nor do I have a mind no, but we can all sit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can take my stuff. Yeah, no, that's not right here. Can you, can you put it there? Where's the men part of the men day? Why well, taking it with the infinitive? He's got it.
who's exactly sure of the wording here? <coughs> Somebody gave me this pill. Who was it? Barbara, do you want to, do you want to uh, comment on this? Um, actually, I'm going to write it down. Um, no, actually, if you don't mind, I'd rather uh, write it down, take it on, consider it, and maybe respond. Okay, let me give a problem then while we're doing, while we're thinking about this. Uh, so, would you be interested in knowing when it might be appropriate to call upon the gods if you're talking about the gods? Would that make sense? Because you wouldn't want to defame any of them or say something inappropriate. Agree? Mm -hmm. sure. No, no, no. Let's see if I can get agreement to that. <coughs> okay. Okay. Brad? Okay. Oh, by the way, would you be interested in, in uh, invoking the gods under such a circumstance when you're discussing the nature of being itself or reality? If reality is divine and you don't want to offend any of the gods, is that likely? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in particular, yeah. you want yeah. to. Let me check if that's right, Nancy. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, why are they doing it? For what reason? Proper speech. What? Proper speech. <coughs> Proper speech. Yeah, I just wondered um, if it was... What's this? Let's see, he's going to give a speech talking about what, according at this point? About the gods? No. 
Uh, about the nature of reality? I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Daniel, what? About the all. Oh, what are they going to... Uh, are they going to give a speech about... Uh, yeah, okay, I just wondered. But it, it's uh, the word is it? It's the all. Okay, just stay with uh, both of these. Um, Want to know concerning the all in respect to what question? Here, I'll read it because you probably don't have it in front of you. <clears throat> we who are proposing to deliver a uh, series of discourses concerning the all, we want to establish the order of the gods and how they relate with one another so that we can deal fairly with the idea of justice in the heavens. <coughs> And therefore, we must invoke the gods and goddesses to come and participate with us. But we dare not seek to offend any of them. Is that right? That's the way it goes? You have that. No? Did I misread it? But I like it. This is good one. Then what's the subject? The all. How? How it's generated or ungenerated. Got the all, but what are you going to focus on? It's coming into being. How it was created or come into being? Or is uncreated. Well, why do you want the gods? Well, what's so important about invoking the gods if all you're talking about is how the material world, the phenomena came into existence? It's a very foolish work, isn't it? If it comes into they were there making it. So they I mean, sure what if, right I mean, if you're talking about the gods, no wonder you want them to make sure you want to be want to placate the gods. But he's only talking about what? Creation. Yeah, Genesis. You find that curious? Good. That's why I said it. Yeah. Right. Must invoke them. Is that right? Because you're talking about what? <laughs> Their work. Their work. How? Their work. They did. <laughs> put it together. Oh, how they put it together. And you know, like, yeah, it's like talking to the teacher. Why do you need Forget to? It. Why? Look, here, wouldn't you agree if we changed the subject, it would make more sense? Like in my translation that I read. Yeah. Common sense. Yeah. Do you find that? Let me check. Do you find that curious? Mm -hmm. Oh, in what way? Well, in that it wouldn't it wouldn't be necessary if it was just yeah a physical uh, generation of the universe. Let's see if we can get Barbara to collaborate on this. It's common sense. I think that really adds a lot to see it um, that why the gods would have a vested interest in in the proceedings hmm. in the logos. Mm -hmm. not a vested interest, but a, um, it would be appropriate to call them to listen to such a discourse. Ah. Uh -huh. Well. Well, it would have to be a divine discourse. And, and why do you have to invoke yourselves over such an issue? You want to bring your highest uh, about seeing. To about you. becoming? Mm. Wouldn't no. it be more appropriate if you're talking about being or at least being and becoming? But yes. not just being. Right. Hmm. Not just being? Yeah. Well, that's what he's stressing. Hmm. I mean, not just becoming. Yes, that's right. So you find it a curious word? Curious. Good. Good. And therefore, at this point, it doesn't make any sense. Is that right? Well, they're invoking Good. To make sure they're now, we're, now we're reading. <laughs> Invoke the gods and make sure that what they speak about in their form of logos is not incorrect or wrong. So the gods are there See, with them. If you stress that, maybe this is it. If you if you attempt to do this, 
about that, yeah. you better invoke the gods. Uh-oh. The but then there has to be, we have to know why. I agree. So you're not wrong. So they're not wildly out of place or wrong. So with noose there, well, their noose would collaborate and, and reflect, the, reflect their understanding. And, you know, if yes. someone's going to talk about noose, seeing into yeah. the nature of reality, they don't need that to talk about how this came into being. Right, Barbara? I agree. See? She agrees. Again? Yes. See? And by the way, the way in which you use the word understanding, would you agree you don't need that either? No. So this is rather curious work, isn't it? It's wrong with dog said. Huh? Perception. Yeah, good. And all of that has to be answered quick from the text. Happy New Year. Let's yeah, have a cup yeah. of coffee. Uh, Hold it, Bill. I think we sh some, somebody should invoke our praise for Barbara's fine work, don't yeah. you? Think? Yeah. Thank you. Also, I have, a, I have an announcement. I have a book here that I've published. It's uh, my story, and uh, I'll give you a comp copy if you uh, write me a one or two page review. Uh, it's ten bucks. It's normally twenty six dollars. So uh, it's a good deal, one way or another. But you. Uh, Please, uh, if you get a copy, I've only got about 16 Wonderful. copies with me. I should have brought more, I hope. Okay? Bill, don't you think no. to, say, to say simply my story might be underplaying it just a little? Well, I'll tell you, if you read it, you probably can tell me whether I am or not. So. Okay. Uh, okay. Any other comments, announcements? Let's get a cup of coffee and see where the ball bounces. Oh, you're all set. The green, green, green. Is that peak in? I tried to. I tried to. Yes. Lewis. 